I interviewed 14 non-binary people for my new course, Mix and Match, Designing Your Non-Binary Voice. I asked them all if they had any advice to give non-binary people who are in the process of exploring their voice and gender. And here's what a few of them had to say. Try everything at least once. Even if you don't think it's gonna be like the thing, you're not gonna know until you try it. And then when you do it, maybe you know, maybe you know that you don't like it. You're like, okay, good, I'm not gonna do it again. But you might surprise yourself in like what is really affirming. Yeah, just just try it. Just try it everything, everything at least once. When I, you know, like straighten up my beard a little bit, like I have a little glitter on my face. Like I'm feeling empowered. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm walking outside. Like I'm feeling good, you know? So like I, I figured there could be like some kind of like auditory version of that. So it's like, mm. I guess like, yeah. Like what voice makes you feel empowered? Makes you feel heard? Try to see what makes like your body feel good and to how it sounds because mm. i know it's so easy to get wrapped up into like oh my voice sounds too mass my voice sounds too femme but like trying your best to like remove yourself from that like binary mindset and being like okay well does it like make me happy if i speak in a higher register does it make me happy if i speak in a lower register like how start trying to experiment how that feels i feel is the most important part instead of getting caught up into like i guess yeah the binariness of everything going on you know yourself best and don't let anyone else dictate your own identity for you <laughs> absolutely love that mix and match designing your non-binary voice launches on may 1st but if you want to get an early bird discount make sure you pre-order it before then i hope this helps <laughs>